Hello there, Leo. Welcome. Well, this is going to be a weekend reading for you guys. This is going to be starting September 2nd. So let's see what's going on with you guys. What's going on with Leo here? Let's start with your energy. We have... Okay, Six of Swords. You're moving away from something. Moving on. You could be going on vacation. You could be traveling. But there is definitely movement here. But whatever you're moving to, it's going to be much better wherever you're going. Okay, now let's see. The Earth Energy. What are, what What's keeping you grounded? Let's see, we have Justice. Okay, Libra Energy. Being fair, there's justice coming in for you. I like that. Okay, and now um, the Air. The Winds of Influence. What's going on influencing you at this time? We have the moon. Hmm. So you're being influenced by the moon, by your emotions. Pisces energy. And fire. The ultimate destroyer. What's going on with this? What's going on with the fire? Destroys and creates. We have queen of wands. Ooh. So this, I think this is just your energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming into your power here of creativity. It might be very creative this time, very passionate. And we do have, ooh, a rose. How nice you have a rose. Maybe you're getting roses. Or maybe you're sending someone roses. But that's also roses are love. So let's see here. Now, for the water element, the tides of intuition. What's going on with the tides of intuition for you? Let's see. We have the chariot. Ooh, cancer energy. Something moving here quickly. Are you moving towards something? Is your intuition telling you to move? Something might be happening really quick, and you might be feeling it because of your intuition. Okay, oh, I don't know why I'm looking here. The stars at the bottom. Wishes and dreams come true. But I have one more to do here. Um, spirit. So what is this all coming to? What's happening here? What's, what's the potential outcome? And we have the Four of Cups. Ooh, <clears throat> you might be getting an offer. You might not know if you want this or not. I don't know. You might be passing up a good thing, so pay attention. And we do have the Ace of Wands. You're creating something new here. A lot of passion, a lot of desire. But don't pass by on something. Think about it before you um, say no to something. Okay, so we just have the one court card. Okay, let's clarify now. Why do we have the Six of Swords here for Leo? Why do we have the Six of Swords? And we have the Knight of Wands. Okay, someone might be leaving something to come towards you. They're getting, you might be getting a message here from um, Knight of Wands, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, anybody. But this is someone that's very passionate. So it, yeah, this could be someone coming to you, or you could be leaving something to go to somebody. We have, oh, we have a heart. Yes, we do. There's love here. This person coming with love on their mind. Okay, what about this grounding with the justice card? Why do we have that here for Leo? Why do we have the grounding with the justice card? We have the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, so something's going to balance out here. That's going to ground you, all right? It looks like if you're waiting for some kind of um, judgment on a financial situation, on money or something, it's going to come in your favor, it looks like. Ten of Pentacles. So also could be a fear. There's a fear of judgment or a fear of commitment. Here, commitment and um, money, finances. Wow, things are going to be working out here. Okay, now, what about this um, air, the influence with this, who we have here? The moon, okay. Let's see. And we have, ooh, Ace of Wands. Holy moly, you have two Aces of Wands. There's a lot of passion here. You're starting something new here. So your influence is going to be your passion, your desire, and um, your creativity, I would say, with the moon. You're very creative. You're letting your imagination take over. Some of you guys might be artists, or you do something that requires you to use your creativity and that this is going to be taken off like big time. <laughs> okay, so now let's see. What about this Queen of Wands for your um, fire energy? What's that all about? Ooh, the Hang Dragon. Okay, so with the Hang Dragon here, you're, you want to do something, but you know you have to hold back. 
You have to wait. You have to be patient. And then by being patient, you're going to see things in a different perspective. You're going to get a better handle on things. It might be hard, though, because we're talking about fire. <laughs> okay, but you'll do it. You'll do it. And the hang, hanging dragon would be Pisces energy. Okay, now what about the water? Your intuition here. I feel like your intuition is really strong at this time. And we have, we have the page of wands. Okay, so there's definitely some kind of messages coming in or information coming in for you. And it's very passionate. You have a lot of fire in this um, reading. A lot of passion, a lot of desire, a lot of creativity. So with the Page of Wands, it's um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but this could be anyone. It could be someone younger too. This could be a new idea that's going to take off like crazy because it's young, it's new, It's and then you have the Chariot. And, oh, we got the Four Leaf Clover. And it's lucky too. Ooh, how nice. Okay, now to the last card to bring this all together. Why do we have this Four of Cups? And we have here, this is the side of Pentacles. So this is actually like the King of Pentacles here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You are, um, There's something coming here. Maybe this this person's coming towards you. You're not sure if you want your interest in this person. You are so focused on what you're doing here, on what you're building here, on what you're creating. I think there's someone that also could be interested in you besides this um, Knight of Wands. But this also could represent you that, you know, your stability here, your financial stability. But why aren't you seeing an opportunity? You might be missing an opportunity to even build your wealth even more. So pay attention to your offers. The bottom one we have here, the Knight of Cups is also coming in. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, you got some love offers coming in. It looks like you're starting something that you're very creative, very passionate about. It's going to do quite well. Two Aces of Wands, and then, you know, with the Ace of Wands here, that's also passion for love, too. Let me get a charm on this um, Knight of Cups. We have the Dinosaur. Okay, this could be someone that actually is a big love. It's a someone has a lot of feelings for you. And also, it could be someone that you know for a very long time would be in dinosaur. You could go back lifetimes with this person. Okay, so now let's see what the word is for you guys. What is the word? So who's our first one? Our first one is, okay, the Queen of Wands. Let's just scoop on this Queen of Wands. We have never hidden. Ooh. Something is going to surprise you here with the tower. This is Aries Scorpio energy. Someone's going to surprise you, whatever's happening here. And this is hanging, hanging out with the Queen of Wands. Something, you're waiting for a new perspective. And it's going to shock you, whatever it is, because you've never seen this coming. It was hidden. And you didn't know it. Okay, so we got never hidden in the tower. That's why I'm going to put it as you didn't, you had no idea this was coming. You could, you know, if it makes more sense a different way for you, go for it. Okay, now what about this Knight of Wands? Let's scoop on this Knight of Wands. We have immature, sincere, obsessed. Ooh, this person's obsessed with, they have the heart here. And this is, um, they're moving away. They might be leaving something to come towards you because they're obsessing over you. They might be a little immature too, but they are sincere. <laughs> okay, what about this page of wands? Why do we have a page of wands here? Okay, we got four. We got insult. Ooh. Committed. Options. Family. I think the family insulted you. Because this, someone wants to commit to you and... And maybe you have options, or are they afraid they had options, but they wanted to commit to you? I, yeah, I feel like the family is, has insulted you somehow. Uh, rearrange this any way you want. Okay, now what about this Knight of Cups? What's the scoop on this Knight of Cups? We have always freedom, gift, separate. So someone may be always separate. And someone's giving someone to get the freedom, maybe? I don't know. What else can we do? This? You, someone wants to give you a gift. 
Hmm. I don't know how to put this. I would say always, you know, someone has a gift of freedom. Maybe you do have the gift of, you're always free and separate, but someone wants to come in and give you gifts because maybe someone doesn't want you to be free anymore. They want to commit. <laughs> okay, we'll see. You guys figure it out. Let's see. And again, it might resonate with you, might not. Now let's see what signs we have here for Leo. What are the signs, please? What are the signs for Leo? What are the signs? We have Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Libra, Virgo, and Virgo. Okay. So this could be placed in your chart, placed in other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Libra, Virgo, Virgo. Okay, now let's see what letters we have for initial first name, last name. And if you get both the first and last name and someone has a middle name and you also get that initial, all the better. Past, present, and future on your own initials. We have P, W, B, D, U, L, R, F, X, Y, and W. All right, so the letters we have for you today are P, W, B, D, U, L, R, F, X, Y, W. Okay, now for the name. Get 11 names or more. Let's see what names we have for you. What are the names, please? Let me get some on the bottom. Okay, let's see. I have Aneta here. A-N-E-T-T-A. -T -T -A, Jordan. Kristen, C H R I S T O N, Renee, Amna, A M N A, T T E A, and we have Bo, B O, we have Sharona, C S C H R O N D, Dominique, Sheena, S H E A N A, and Leah, L I A. Okay, so we have. Five. Okay, perfect. Eleven. All right, guys. So those are the names. Remember, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I'd love to read your comments. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank